Peekaboo, peeka, peeka, peekaboo. Hey, have you ever wondered if Santa has any friends beyond the reindeer and the elves and whatever else is up there? He might. The title is Through the North Pole Snow. This book was written by Polly Faber, illustrated by Richard Jones, and published by Candlewick Press. Here we go, friends. A little fox came hunting through the snow. It was trying to find something, anything for dinner. Everywhere was so cold, everywhere was so dark. Hop, hop, thump. Again and again, it sprang up and punched down into the thick white blanket. In some places, the ground was too hard and the snow too shallow. In other places, the ground was too soft and the snow too deep. But in one place, ah. The little fox saw light and color and felt warmth again. And the little fox smelled dinner, so it kept on digging. The fox was almost inside, but no matter how hard it scrabbled and wriggled and wriggled and scrabbled, it couldn't get through. Then a voice said, stuck? Now that's a problem I understand. Two hands took hold of the little fox and pulled. The hands belonged to a man with a great round belly and a fox white beard. He looked very old and very tired, but so kind that the little fox wasn't frightened. Help yourself to dinner. There's plenty left over. I was already full of cookies, the old man said. And he gave a yawn and went to bed. By the light of the giant log burning on the fire, the little fox explored. There were snowy boots and steaming clothes. There were piles of paper everywhere, and there were rows and rows of empty shelves. Eventually, the fox grew tired and went to bed. On and on, the old man slept. The little fox slept too, some of the time, until one day, a shaft of sunlight shone through the hole in the ceiling, and the old man sat up with a stretch. He smiled when he saw the little fox. You're still here? The man didn't look so old now. With the world lit bright again, the little fox played outside and found flowers, chased insects, and followed streams. Sometimes the old man came too, but mostly now he was busy. He drew and measured and made plans. He sawed and painted and hammered, and he cut and sewed and stuffed, and slowly, slowly, he filled up all the empty shelves from their tops to their bottoms. When the sun began to sink away once more and the first snow arrived, something else fell with it, letters. They floated through the sky, hundreds, then thousands of them. The little fox helped the man find every single one. Then the man read and he read. He made lists. He matched the lists to things on the shelves, adding notes and crossing things off. And he filled a great sack. He didn't stop until 
colored lights came da da dancing across the sky and eight reindeer arrived. Pawing and snorting and steaming, they dipped their heads for silver bells to be tied to their antlers and were harnessed to a sleigh. Coming, little fox? asked the man. His eyes sparkled brighter than snow. The little fox went and at last understood everything. And when the sleigh was empty, the fox's heart was full. And together, the fox and Santa Claus came home. Oh, what a lovely little story. I love that. Through the North Pole snow. I miss you, friends. Mm -hmm.